Hello, this is Christopher Ian Chenoweth. Let me show you something, something that is coming, something that we're excited about. This is a cover of our new book. Our new book will be out in August, Positive Living. Now, we've made decisions in the economy to cut back on some things, but this is not one of them. People need more positive input today, more than ever, and we're going to provide it. Because we, we know the best is yet to come. Let me tell you the story about the farmer that invented the raisin. It was a bad day on the farm. This farm was growing grapes, but there had been a severe drought. And looking over the crop, the crop was ruined. All the grapes were withered. And uh, the farmer, you can imagine what he was feeling. He just said, it's over. Uh, there, there is nothing anymore to go on with. I'll just close the farm. And he probably spent a day or maybe more. The story doesn't say how, how long, but it does say that repeatedly he walked the whole path of the crops, you know, looking for one grape patch that was still there, intact. Instead, all he found was thousands and thousands of withered up grapes. On one of his journeys, down one of the paths, in his depression, he knelt down into the sandy soil and he started to cry. He looked at and he held in his hand what was left of the grapes. And as he sat there, he prayed. And then, I don't know what made him, I, I suspect God, he tasted one of the withered grapes and how delicious it was. I read a story the other day that there are new health benefits just being discovered from raisins. My friend, God can turn around anything. And God can turn around our lives. But we must work with God. So many times we are like the farmer before he discovered the raisin and think, well, you know, it's over. You know, what can I do? Let me tell you a story. There was a spider. The spider was spinning his silken thread, and he came clear down from a high ceiling in the middle of a party that was being thrown. And the hostess of the party looked at the spider and talked to him eyeball to eyeball and said, Mr. Spider, now you have over 20 feet of silken thread. I want you to put all this silken thread back in you and, uh, and clean this room up. Well, the spider just shrugged his spider shoulders. He didn't know how to put it all back in him. And literally, it was 100,000 times bigger than his size. Now... The point of the story, as it was true with the spider, it is true with you too. You are more than the moment. More can come out of you than you can ever conceive of. And the best is yet to come. It is. You wouldn't believe as a minister how many times I have uh, counseled with teenagers. Teenagers that were depressed and even suicidal. And they said, well, you know, I just can't go on because I've lost her, or I've lost him. And you know how silly that is. If they do, and all the time, thank God they did, in my cases, they went on to the most incredible life, and they said later, thank God, that that didn't work out. It is 
many times like a kindergartner that messes up their finger painting project and they think, oh, well, life is over. And we'd say that's pretty silly on a kindergartner. But how about a 55-year-old worker that's laid off? And they are looking at retraining, removing, and restarting again. And they don't believe they have it in them. Oh, yes, you do. You have it in you because God is in you. And if you even could have a glimpse, which I pray that you do, of the best things that are ahead of you and how blessed you will be in the future. Let God go ahead of you on your path and you'll find out the incredible blessings of a better life than you have ever dreamed of. Like the farmer and the raisin, you will find that uh, you have been blessed in the long run and I pray with you right now that you have a glimpse, a spiritual vision glimpse of your future. God bless you.